I have finally done it. I am now officially know how to astronaut, and to celebrate, we'll take the initiative. Valve recently launched their early access feature for Steam, and this allows games like the Kerbal Space Program to get the accessibility and exposure it should have. On the downside, it's a game in its alpha stage. That's right, alpha. It's nowhere near the beta stage of development. Let's take a look. So here's the meat and potatoes of the gameplay. Here, you're designing a rocket from scratch. First, you start out with a pod where the entire rocket will be controlled. From there, you can add on fuel tanks, engines, rocket boosters, stabilizers. Then you can add on utility components like solar panels and landing gear, depending on what the mission is. And you can also add some docking components so that you can put together a space station. At the moment, the game only has a sandbox mode, so you have access to all of the components and you can build any kind of rocket you want. The career mode is not in the game yet, and from my understanding, this will have objectives you need to complete, it will have a finite amount of resources, so you have to manage a budget, you have to manage your parts, and you also have to conduct some research in order to unlock parts as you go along. So this will become available as the game is developed. Building the rocket is half the fun. The other half is exploring the solar system. This means getting off the ground and getting into space. Getting into orbit is a challenge in and of itself, but that's only the beginning. You have the entire solar system you can explore, and it's somewhat similar to ours. It just has a few minor changes, like the names and a number of moons around each planet. After around 20 hours of playing, and after several failed launches, I finally managed to land on the moon. Amazing. I just feel wiggly inside. I also tried to create my own space station. I always have problems docking. I can never maneuver into place. Everyone else seems to make it look easy. But man, I am not giving up. This game is surprisingly addictive. It's kind of like Farming Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator. Except you deal with physics. I think I've been afflicted with one more rocket syndrome. You know you have to stop playing. But then your brain tells you, just one more rocket. And then seven hours goes by. Some Let's Plays I've seen have people whipping out a calculator to double check the numbers on their maneuvers, just to make sure the numbers are correct. I mean, the game practically does it for them, but who am I to judge? They're doing it right. So in its current state, the Kerbal Space Program is a pretty good game, and it's just going to improve. But remember, this is an unfinished game. It's not even in its beta stage. It's actually been playable for almost a year, but only recently on Steam. Let's analyze how this will do on the market. Four to eight weeks from now, we'll have more people joining in because of Steam. This is actually how I heard of the game in the first place. The game appeared on Steam, people talked, and then I took a peek. The official forums for the game are very active, so the game does have a very high level of community involvement. It also has lots of custom add-ons ready to go, so if you're not satisfied with the loads of stock parts available already, you can download some more. This will just keep growing. In the long term, so 3-6 to six months from now, we'll see more parts, more features, basically more of everything from both the developers and the community. There's not a whole lot to say at this point in time. The game will still be in development. It'll continue to improve. It's not going away. I doubt the game will be finished this year, but we'll see a lot of progress. Even in its current state, I think it's a suitable game to have in schools. I remember in elementary school, my computer lab was just a bunch of Apple IIEs, and one of the games we played, besides Oregon Trail, was a rocket ship game that I can't remember the name of. Basically, you design a rocket, and you have to fly it from one side of the screen to another. Kerbal Space Program reminds me of that game, except it's much more realistic. Even though the game does all the calculations for you, I still think the game will have a lot of educational value for the kids. And it's a lot of fun for them too, having that one kid who makes it to the moon during the lunch break, and having all of their classmates crowding around the screen. This game can potentially set them up for some good times. It's a very good sandbox game at the moment, but it's a very niche game. 
this will not appeal to the average gamer. This is for someone who likes building and experimenting with stuff. You know who you are. One thing I'm afraid of is getting tired of the game before it's actually done. Yes, this game has a lot of potential, but it's also possible you'll get bored of the game before the potential is realized. There's also the possibility of the game never being finished, so there's always that risk involved when purchasing unfinished products. In any case, check back in a few months for a follow-up on this game. Thanks for watching.